Being back here feels surreal. It feels completely surreal because it feels strange and not at all strange at the same time. Uh, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that almost all the faces are the same. It's, it, if, if Jimmy Burroughs hadn't come back or if uh, someone had changed their appearance entirely, if, if, if we lost key players. But it feels like yesterday. And, uh, and that is still unsettling for us in a great way, but it's completely bananas. Will was surprisingly easy to jump back into. He's, he's my id. He's, uh, you know, I've been doing, since, since Will and Grace ended, I've been doing drama. I've been doing hour-long single camera, uh, straight characters. And so, particularly this last two years, uh, doing the show I do on Netflix, I, I was I'm playing such a, a contained character. It was like a jack-in-the-box. And, and getting back on this set was like <clears throat> doing that, just except it was a a will in the box, I suppose. I auditioned for the role of Will in December of 97, almost 20 years ago, um, and very quickly became, I knew I was the guy. I had a second audition and a third, and then I knew that I, uh, I was the one Max and David wanted. Um, but it was very early in, in, in uh, L.A. terms, pilot season's kind of late January to March for actors, and to, to suddenly have almost secured a role so, so early unnerved me, and I kind of pulled back and said, well, uh, let me see what, what January brings. And I was in Vancouver at the time, and Max called me at, at my home and said, you're out of your mind! This is the best part you're ever going to get in your life! You're insane if you walk away from this! But I did. I walked away for about a month, and then... Uh, and then I woke up, I think it was the day after New Year's, and I said to my wife, I think I made a terrible mistake. And she said, yeah, yeah, I think you did. I called Max back up, and he and David hadn't cast the part yet, so, so I got back in. But I, there was still another couple of rounds to go, and uh, thankfully the next round was to meet the director. I hadn't heard yet who that was. And they said, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta meet Jimmy. I went, wait, Jimmy Burroughs? Is that what you're talking about? Because that was very huge for me, very huge. And the minute I sat down, I did the scene, whatever scene, some scene that never actually made it into the show was the audition scene over and over again, the park bench scene with Grace. And I did that for Jimmy, and I don't even think he hesitated. I was still in the room, and he went, yeah, that's great. He's the one. Let's, let's go. Let's find a Grace. Um, and then I went to network with the girl. She didn't get it. I did. So I had a month where I was just reading with graces, which was a luxury, but also incredibly nerve-wracking, because I knew that without one, there's, there's not the other. There's no, there's no show without that sort of great, perfect chemistry. Uh, so an interesting process. So at this point now, I'd gone to network again, what we call going to network, showing the network uh, executives, the, the big bosses, what the show would look like with these two people, and we just, it just hadn't worked. It hadn't worked and hadn't worked. And so the last ditch effort um, was myself and reading with three different actresses. And uh, all of them, n none of them knew the others existed. They'd all been led to believe by their agents that it was just, just you, it's just casual, it's just a Jim Burroughs house, and the executives are no ties, no suits, it's relaxed, it's a Sunday. And uh, I'd been shooting a movie with uh, Bill Shatner. I'd been shooting till four in the morning. And the day before, my mother had had a heart attack. She was fine afterwards, but I didn't know that yet. I'm unwashed and unshaven and unshaken, and unshaken completely. And I showed up at Jim Burroughs' house looking, looking homeless. And, and, and these women came in one by one. And you could see them going, this is Will? This is the gay guy, huh? I don't know. Um, and uh, the first two, not, not, just, it was so clear, not the ones. And then the last one was Deborah. And she sat down, and uh, we'd never met. And I said something funny, and she laughed, that big Grace laugh. And even before we started the scene, I think everybody in the room went, ah, this is it. That's the one thing no, no other 
uh, actress had done yet was just enjoy being with Will, and that was kind of the key. We we hit it off from the beginning.